Our next caller is Chris from Minnesota. Hey, what's up, Chris? How can we help you? Hey, guys. It's really cool to be able to talk to you. Thanks for thanks for having me. Hey, listen, my question is a, a mobility slash uh, just kind of core strength question, which is during the quarantine, I really was trying to work on just being less stiff as a board. And um, that involves some single leg stuff. And I didn't have a lot of equipment, so it was bands. And one of the things I, I got into a little bit was um, trying the overhead squat with a band. Um, and it just, the connection I felt to my core and just the way it made me feel was really awesome. Actually, it just, I felt two or three inches taller, but I really can't load that because I have a, some shoulder mobility issues. So I'm looking for other exercises, other things to do that kind of recreate that same feeling that I'm always trying to battle with to become more mobile. Cause you know, I sit in a, a desk chair all day. So I'm looking for ideas. So I, my question would be, uh, first, let's figure out what the limiting factor is, right? Like, what is it? You think it's your shoulders that aren't allowing you to kind of retract to get down in that position? Yeah, I have a really bad arthritis in my left shoulder. So, you know, I have to modify a lot of the things um, as far as overhead pressing. I use a landline, landline bar, so I can't really overhead press. So it's not really an option for me to, you know, to, to I work on it as best I can, but it's it's really just my one shoulder that uh, prevents it. How much have you played with the Turkish getup? Uh, not very much. That that's um, that's another great. So uh, where you're describing kind of where you're at right now is really similar to where I feel I was just about two and a half years ago, where I got on this really hardcore mobility kick. I thought, ah, you know what? I, I did the bodybuilding thing now, and I'm getting older and achy and stiff and. I was on this pursuit to uh, get as mobile as I could in the in the, the shortest period of time, and spent a lot of time doing a lot of like combat stretch, hip mobility stuff, ninety ninety work for myself. Or zone one and in, in uh, Maps Prime used a lot of that uh, for like our wall test and stuff for uh, thoracic mobility. And uh, I actually got to a point where I too could get uh, like an an overhead squat, but I had a really hard time loading it too, just because I didn't have the core strength and stability yet. And it, I was still, I wasn't uh, super mobile there and I still had some limiting factors with my, my thoracic mobility. And so uh, I, the Turkish get up, I feel like because it's uh, unilateral, but yet I get, I'm working on very similar areas, even though they, the exercise looks different. Um, I felt a, a lot of carry over into that. And that same similar feeling that you just described, like that was one of the things I loved about the overhead squad is like, man, I do even with hardly any weight or just a bar afterwards, I would just feel so much better from that. I get that similar feeling from Turkish get-ups. Yeah, I'll add something to that. I think that's great advice. Um, and I'll add a couple things. Uh, you can practice overhead carries with mm -hmm. nothing too uh, heavy. Another, another great point. Yeah, you know, uh, kettlebell would be good, but make sure it's lighter than you think. Just practice that full extension overhead, packing the shoulder, walking with the braced core, walking nice and straight and tall, carrying something overhead. That'll strengthen that that top position and then windmills, uh, yeah. you know, windmills are great for the, you know, the, the side of the core, but a lot of people don't realize it's also great for shoulder mm -hmm. mobility. And I would take your time. Uh, do not try loading the overhead squat. If you can't do an overhead press, I would try to get good at an overhead press, uh, first. And I would forget the, the, the squat, uh, overhead squat for a little while because it's far more complex. Mm. There's a lot more moving parts. And what you don't want to do is push it so far or too hard to where you actually have to take a few steps back. Yeah, I love those too. And especially if you're doing the overhead carry with a kettlebell, I mean, it could be a light kettlebell, but just because it's loaded on the back of your arm and that being a lot of times limiting factor, uh, being able to, to, to pull your arm up uh, in its full range of motion, it kind of helps to have that loaded uh, somewhat to give you uh, you know, some resistance going in that direction. I also love the, the windmill. I was going to bring that up as well, just because you do have to stabilize your shoulder while you're going going through this thoracic rotation while you're going through all the rest of this uh, motion throughout your body. Uh, it's a good one to really uh, focus on that. And then lastly, too, uh, with the stick, uh, if you could just get like a regular stick, um, it, you could do a lot with that in terms of also just doing like a shoulder dislocate, but you don't have to necessarily go all the way to your lower back. So starting at your stomach and then trying to bring the bar up over your head, just starting with that and then pulling out 
outward. So really creating a lot of tension, extending your elbows and pulling outwardly as you're, you're lifting and raising your arms up over your head will start really to train, you know, those shoulders to respond properly. Chris, have you, have you done a handcuff with rotation too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I've really been into your guys' YouTube videos because um, during quarantine, I got plenty of time and I'm working from home now. So I've done, tried to do a lot of those. Um, I, so they've been super cool. I did your mobility webinar. I could only do about half the stuff, but um, you know, I just been trying to do a little bit more and, and make it more of a habit. Yeah. Honestly, it was not a habit for many years. And I just, you know, I'm not a, athlete i'm just a guy just a regular old guy so trying to use that to supplement some of my lifting has really been beneficial a lot of the unilateral stuff too but um yeah i've been trying to do as much of the youtube stuff that you guys put out it's really helpful yeah reach roll lift thread the needle handcuff rotation zone one those are all like i think an area that i would really put a lot of energy yeah. and effort into before going into the training a lot of the and, prime tests yeah so. and here and look here's okay. a here's the deal with mobility it's best done frequently it's not like strength training where you need to take time off it's uh you're, you're better off doing you know 10 minutes twice a day of targeted mobility work uh, every single right. day. You'll get far better results doing it that way. Don't do mobility work like strength training where it's, you know, twice a week or once a week or whatever. Do it daily, you know, maybe morning and night um, and you'll ex you'll greatly accelerate your progress. Awesome. Thanks, right. guys. Really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for calling. Yeah, I think the, the big issue with mobility is that uh, people will do like once or twice a week. No, that was good. It, that's yeah. good advice to keep drilling that home. I know we've said it on the show before, but um, I, it, I didn't see the major improvement uh, with myself until it became until I became almost competitive with it, where I was like, "How many times a day can I do this? And how consistently can I do this every day?" Like um, before I started to really notice a difference. If you use mobility as just kind of a way to warm up. It's better than nothing. It's better mm -hmm. than getting on a treadmill. It's better than static stretching uh, for a warm up. So I definitely think it's good. But if you're going to make uh, changes like in your posture, like it's you're trying to work on correctional exercise, it's really tough because you have to understand that what got you in that position, what put you in the place of you know poor shoulder mobility or hip mobility or ankle, whatever it may be, is the habits that you do on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And more than likely, you're still doing those habits. So you've got to put in enough work to counter that. And just simply doing it one or one to three times a week is not enough to see. Well, that feeling problems. he just felt from from being in the proper stacked alignment uh, is something that he should experience more frequently. And so to to be able to dive back in and put more work in that direction is going to be everything. <clears throat>